Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, if you are new to my channel recently, I think I got a couple new people. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope you're enjoying uh, my new series that I am doing. Uh, my candy lady, serious lady, AliExpress lady, however you want to put it. It's all the same damn thing. Uh, diamond painting series. Uh, I've been really enjoying um, banging these out in three or four days and having completions and stuff like that. Um, today we... I completed candy cane lady number two. It is my second candy cane female that I have done uh, um, on this channel. So she was a little bit more darker than the other one. The other one was a lot brighter. But um, now I'm going to be doing a more pastel-ish um, picture, a little bit more brighter, um, more lighthearted. Um, because I like to alternate them to get the switch up so I don't go crazy. So, here is the new goal. She's really pretty. Um, she's got, I think, a, either a shake or something in front of her. It's dessert-wise. And she's got, I think, like little candies in her hair. And she's got, this one has glasses on. So, she's a little nerdy. I like it. Um, once again, if you're new to this channel and you really haven't seen much of my progress or maybe kit ups, um, which I have only done one kit up of these ladies, um, so this is my second one today. Um, if you haven't seen a kit up since I didn't do a haul, um, on everything I got and showed everything at once, um, by looking at this painting, I mean, just look at it, it looks like like negative film it looks like shit <laughs> we curse on this channel I curse I don't care sorry if you're doing it, it it offended you but I curse uh I put uh no kids under 18 on my channel so um it looks like shit um usually when I see pictures that look like this well canvases that look like this that don't have any like real color and they have the training wheels I believe yes training wheels um I don't even want to work on them, quite frankly. I think they look ugly as hell. I've seen some canvases where the renderings look full of color and they're beautiful without the drills. This set of canvases I've been getting from AliExpress, the canvas is nice and soft. You have to do little to no flattening out of the canvas. All I had to do is lay them flat and put something a little like a little object on the corners just to get it from rolling back um and in, in a day like overnight they were completely flat so canvas quality is really really good they do have the scalloped edges so they don't fray um they these are 40 by 30s they seem rather large for a 40 by 30 I thought I was going to be able to fit it in my 30 by 40 portfolio, but I guess I have it backwards. It, it They don't fit. So I have to keep these flat out on the table. This one is 30 colors. Lots of pastels, pinks, peaches, some blues. Looks like we have some whites, some beiges. Um, so this is the um, the one canvas that has have the most colors so far. They usually have about 26 to 28 colors. So today we are going to kit her up. I don't know if I'm going to start her tonight because I am working on two other whips. One is for a gift and the other one's for my hubby. So I got to eventually get them done if I, if I keep just working on the candy girls I'll never get the other ones done they're, they're sitting there ready to be done I did start one of them but I get so self involved with these I don't want to do anything else <laughs> so um, I might just kit her up and prep the canvas tonight and since tomorrow's my day off from my 9 to 5 job um, I will start her early tomorrow with my cup of coffee so we're going to flip her around canvas is nice and flat and soft love it if you didn't know what 
organizers I am using. Um, I don't know the name of these. I got them off Amazon. They may be pill boxes. I don't know. Um, it's 54, 56 in each booklet, which does button shut. It does do four sleeves of seven on each side of the booklet. So I already have these numbered. They go to 28, so, um, let me see. I'm probably going to have to, since they're in baggies, keep the last few in baggies and just work out of the baggies, which I don't like doing, but I have no choice <laughs> because I have another, um, project in the other, on the other sleeve, so. This is how the drills come for these girls. They're very tightly packaged. Some of them aren't numbered with just, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Um, some of them are numbered that way. Some of them are numbered with that and the DMC code. Uh, the last two kits I did were just the DMC, DCM, DMC. I don't know which one it is. I, I don't pay to, I don't follow those. But um, you know what I'm saying, it, it's with those codes. So I had to follow the inventory in order to kit up. So this doesn't look like the case today. Uh, I don't know if we have any ABs in this one. There should be. If not, I'm not too worried about it. Because I didn't even show you guys. I didn't even make a video on this. Because I figured I'd throw it in this video. On Amazon, um, I have bought ABs. So, I got a little bit of everything. Got your blues, your greens, your grays, your blacks. Uh, the red I already cracked open for the candy cane woman. Got some lavenders and purple, some yellows and oranges, and some pinks. I also have some pinks left over from the previous canvas. Uh, they were a little gimpy again um, using ABs, and for some strange reason, they went with pink on a candy cane woman canvas, which is predominantly red and white. <laughs> I don't get it. The I want to say the first two canvases I did with ABs, they placed them in the right places. They looked super herb on the canvases and then the last two this one and the ice cream woman i did before this i don't know what they were thinking um they were just super gimpy with them they didn't put them everywhere on the canvas i know it's supposed to be an accent thing but i'm very gaudy and i like a lot of bling and a lot of sparkle and a, a lot of extra everything so they could have thrown ab's all over that damn canvas for all i concerned so the candy cane woman, I did throw in some red ABs myself and substituted, and I think it came out great. So we're going to kit up. I've been following the Disney paint along. Um, Laura, Crafty Stuff Diamond, um, such a wonderful woman. Um, you know, I had made an announcement on my channel that I was dropping out of the Disney paint along because you know um, the canvases that I am just ever so involved with right now they're not necessarily your typical Disney your Mickey your Minnie your princesses the castle Tinkerbell stuff you know your typical Disney you know um, and I know she had said that it doesn't have to be exactly you know your typical Disney it could have meaning to it you know um because there are four different parks in Disney World if you haven't if you don't know um so in those parks there's different themed things so she said on her channel that I should continue with the Disney paint along. Even though, I'm sorry guys, I haven't been um, labeling it Disney paint along. Um, but um, I still am. 
part of it. I'm still in the list. Um, she said there is a 50s diner restaurant. I think I know what she's talking about. In Hollywood Studios in Disney World. Um, and it's 50s themed. And a lot of my girls... Uh, they got the 50s look to them. Some of the some of them are old-fashioned looking with the ice creams So they can be considered a Disney themed diamond painting, which is really great. It made me feel great to hear that um, Cause I didn't want to have to drop out. I just I was just so self-involved with this series. It's actually going somewhere for me. I'm actually into diamond into a collection that I am in love with um I'm spending all my money on because <laughs> I just keep finding more and my buddy over um, diamond painting bewitch cat if I'm not finding them on Aliexpress in her free time she finds them and messages me the links oh it's a lot of trouble a lot of trouble let me tell you if you ever find a collection that is as big as this that you are in love with beware and if you love diamond painting as much as I do um, beware because if you are as obsessive as I am and you have an addictive personality like me you can't just have maybe five out of you know six collections um, I need them I need every single one from every single collection <laughs> And I'm not going to stop until I have every single one in my house. Swear to God, I have in the past week, I think I have purchased mm, rough off the, off the bat, maybe 15 or 16 new ones. Different themes, not just all candy related. Um... There are ones with teddy bears that are renaissance looking. Uh, we got ladies with flowers, ladies with their pets, dogs and cats. There are, um, I just found the other night, I didn't tell you diamond painting be which cat. I didn't tell you. I didn't show you. I got to share the link with you. Um, a whole set of geishas, Asian ladies. Um, really, really pretty collection. Um, the geishas are gorgeous. I had to go ahead and buy one. I bought one to start off with. Um, they're ones that are look like angels and statues. There's just so gothic ones, chess piece, checkers. Oh, I can't. Okay, since I don't have um, a number 30 um, container, mine only go up to 28, this will just stay in the bag. So, there's just so many, and every day the sellers make it their business. You know, this, these are the sellers that won't accept my message to get, at, you know, that I can ask them for a deal on everything that I am purchasing through them. Um... Yet these sellers message me every day, every other day, telling me about more collections that they have. You know, go figure. You want me to buy more, but you won't give me a deal. It's just amazing. The least you can do is, sorry if I sound a little assy about it, but for the type of money that I am spending, um, the least you could do is give me a package deal not ignore my message and um not give me a warning to restrict my account that would be devastating on my part to have a restricted aliexpress account you know i never cared about aliexpress before um because i heard they they take super long you know the first time i heard about aliexpress is when my channel was originally all nail related all nails um doing my nails nail tutorials nail hauls uh, my channel was nothing but nails. There was no crafting. Um, and then once I started getting damage on my nails um, from constantly making content every other day, a couple times a week, um, pulling off nails, ripping off nails, soaking them, filing them, um, my nails got so paper thin um, 
that they were in pain. They, they hurt really bad and I couldn't wear nails for quite some time until so they grew out and I clipped off the old thin nail and grew back new strong nails. So I had to make a decision and switch around the content of my channel and my other favorite hobby other than doing my nails at home is crafting. I love crafting. Um, if you're new, you wouldn't know, but I love different types of crafts. I'm, I'm a little bit of a handsy on -y person. I, uh, what, what am I looking for? 20, I'm just, I'm usually just picking these up randomly. I like to crochet. I don't crochet as much as I did when I first became obsessed with it. Because when I became obsessed with it, when I first learned everything I needed to know about crocheting, everybody and their mother, everybody in my family got a blanket. My co-workers have blankets. New friends that I meet get usually get blankets. <laughs> There's some new people in my life that didn't get blankets yet. And trust me, I've been thinking about it. You might, you know, if I'm close to you, y'all might be getting a blanket. I don't know. Um... Everybody's got a blanket, um, and it takes me a little less than a month to make a blanket out of baby yarn, baby blanket yarn, which is that soft, thick fleece yarn. I don't use any other yarn, and unfortunately, that yarn is about 10 to $12 a skein, a roll, a bundle, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's very pricey, so, and I make queen to king size blankets for everybody. Um, I don't make anything smaller than that. I don't make throws. I think throws are a little bit of a waste of time. Throws don't cover your feet. Um, I, I like my blankets to be able to cover someone's feet and then they'd be able to bring it up to their shoulders and their neck and like cuddle. <laughs> so um, because I make my blankets so big and it requires so much yarn and the yarn doesn't go very far because it's thick, um, it, before you know it, it, it costs me about 70 to 80 dollars to make a blanket as a gift. Um, it's an expensive gift, but it's a gift of love and I love making them for people. I really do, but after I'm done making one blanket, um, it's months before I pick up my yarn needle again and, and start crocheting again. It does a lot of damage to my hands. My hands hurt already because I am a cake decorator and I frost cakes half my day and open up boxes. I'm working with my hands constantly and they're always squeezing bags and I'm probably on the verge of carpal tunnel as we speak. You, you never know. Um, I probably might end up with carpal tunnel one of these days. Um, all my co-workers, all except for one, um, have had carpal tunnel surgery because of this job. Um, even if I was, if I chose my true profession, what I went to school for, which is cosmetology, even if I did that, um, Cutting people's hair. You can still get carpal tunnel. So unfortunately, no matter what my profession is, I'm using my hands a lot and I'm, I am doing a little bit of damage. Um, even the hard pressing that I do while diamond painting makes my hands cramp up. I, By the end of the day, after diamond painting for a couple hours, um, my hands hurt. I have to do hand stretches and massages and stuff like that because my my hands between my pointer finger and my thumb gets really really cramped um but i can't stop i love diamond painting it's the one thing i'm not i'm not willing i'm not willing to give it up so it keeps me calm it helps with my mental illness i love it but um i also in my young age i used to sew um, I don't know how to sew or use a sewing machine anymore. Um, that's a gift that I kind of lost over time, unfortunately. Um, 
I just forgot all about it. I mean, I learned about it in middle school. Um, I also like to deco din. If you don't know what deco din is, I have three videos up on my channel. Deco dinning phone cases. It is a kawaii Japanese style phone case that's very popular overseas. Um, it is becoming very popular over here now. Um, as a matter of fact, if you go on Etsy, um, you will find people selling Decoden phone cases probably for anywhere to 50, 60 bucks a pop. You're better off buying the supplies off Etsy, I'm being quite honest with you. And if you're creative, buy the, the clear phone case on Amazon, buy the Decodin cream and everything off Etsy. It's, it's, it's very affordable. And um, make one yourself. That's why I didn't buy it from anybody. I'm not spending $60 on a phone case. I'm not spending $70 on a phone case. Just like I'm not going to spend $60 on no diamond painting, I'm not going to spend it on uh, no phone case. Absolutely not. Um, when I can make one for under $20, $30 at home, half the price. So, you know, do, do the math. What makes more sense? <laughs> um, but if you're not creative, then buy one. You know, no hate. If you're not, you don't got a creative bone in your body and you're, you're not so handsy on -y and stuff like that and you're not good with your hands, then, you know, then just buy one if you really want one. No judgments. Just, uh, it's just easier when, and cheaper in the long run. I like to save people money. I, I care about people saving their money, which is why I start, started doing my nails at home. I do my makeup on myself. I dye my hair. Sometimes I even trim my hair. I do my eyebrows. You know, I do all my crafts. If I need a new blanket, I just make it. You know, um, just just cheaper in the long run for me. It could be cheaper in the long run for you too if you just did everything yourself. I know some people just want to support the small shops. I get it. The sh small shops is kind of like highway robbery sometimes between the shipping and the price of the item it doesn't make any sense to me but we're not going to get on that because i've probably ranted about this a million times on another video okay so we are all set up look at our colors lots of pink some blue some cream some yellows is that yellow no it's peach some reds some mauve colors. Look at this blue. Really nice. Look at this. It's like a seafoam green. Really pretty. She's going to be gorgeous. So we're going to put these aside. These did not come with any ABs. So I'm going to have to pick and choose what colors that I want ABs to be uh, a AB instead of using the actual color they provided me. Okay. So... We are going to prep the canvas. I'm getting a phone call. I'll be back. Sorry, y'all, for the, if there's a little hiccup in the video. I don't really edit. But anyways, uh, grandma called. I had to go bring my grandma something across the street. Yeah, my grandma lives across the street. I love it. Um, and I had to move my car because my street floods when it rains and we're about to get some serious thunderstorms today so anyway we were prepping our new lady I don't go so matchy mashy with the washi tape um, I mean the candy cane ones I can get pretty close if I'm using a red and white washi tape but as long if the if the, if the canvas is a pastel then I just go with a pastel washi tape I'm not I'm not being overly serious about it who cares some people care. I don't care. <laughs> so, what I do is the clear plastic comes off. Okay. We have no air bubbles, nothing. I washi tape all the way around on the top. The only thing I avoid is the index. So, because unfortunately the washi tape covers up what I need to know 
wear the diamond paint. So I avoid that. You know, the only thing I don't like about washi tape, it's not super sticky. And I guess that's the whole point to it. But if you buy washi tape too cheap, which I will admit I have recently, those Amazon ones are really cheap. Um, they you have to keep pressing them down. They don't they don't stick very well. Um, these other ones I got from Timu though, top notch. They work really good. They don't roll up. They're really nice. So this is like a unicorn one I'm doing. The little stars and rainbows. Really cute. When I complete a canvas, then I cover up some of the index and cut off the rest. And I just cut around the washi tape after sealing so the washi tape acts as a frame border however you want to put it sorry if you can't see my hands are in the frame and one more side Ooh, a little on the canvas. Gotta watch. Don't want to have a problem with a non-sticky canvas again after the little debacle we went through with the first candy woman. Okay. So I just fold a little lip over. That way I don't have to go crazy trying to peel this back up when I want to use it again. And I put it aside so I know where to find the one I just used. So I don't have to dig around for it. And I just go around and smooth out the washi tape. Because sometimes the way I stretch it, it'll bubble up just once or twice. But it looks good. So, we have washi taped all that we could. Now, I was never big on release papers because the thought of covering up a canvas, I like to look at the picture while I'm diamond painting, um, but in this case, since the canvas is kind of ugly, sorry AliExpress, they're ugly, um, I use release papers. Also. The best part about using these release papers is they give me nice, even, squared sections that I can work in every day. And I can know how much canvas I'm getting done. And I feel like I'm getting um, a lot of canvas done in a short amount of time when I'm working in these squares. Some people, you know, cut little squares into their release paper and then work off the little square and then another little square. No, 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 no. I just peel off this whole square and I do that entire square. Um, if I have enough time, I do another square. So, that's how I get them done in about three, four days. I mean, I know that ain't shit compared to some of uh, my ladies out there who are finishing canvases in like a day. I, <laughs> you rock because I don't know how you are possibly doing it. I don't know how anybody has the time to complete a canvas in a single day. Um, I guess if you're not working and you're home all the time, then I guess you have the time, but I work. I'm still young. I have to work. So I spend whatever time I can on my canvas when I get home. So I just, I don't cover up this area, I leave this open so I make sure this is the release paper is flush with this corner and then I move over. I don't care if there's a little overhang. It doesn't stay there too long. 
Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where I got my release papers, you can use either side of these release paper. One side's not bad and the other side's good. They're both good sides. So it doesn't matter what side you flip it on, they work. Um, and they don't stick. Um, I got a pack of 50 from Timu. I do want some nice printed ones, you know, with cute little prints on it. But again, I, I don't know if I really want to spend the money on Etsy. I heard you can make them yourself if you have a, as long as you have a printer. Um, I would have to borrow family's printer and buy the paper. But I don't know. This has been working for me. I try to get them as flush as possible so no sticky is exposed. Because who knows when I'll get to that section. picking up other canvas so this canvas by looking at it even through the the poured glue it it looks very silky like a silky canvas behind the glue I love it um, I shouldn't have covered that up. Whoopsie. Oh well. See, I'm not even playing by my own rules here. Need one more. A pack of 50 goes a long way. I think the only, I've only had to throw out one of these since I start using them because I'm able to reuse them and reuse them and they don't curl up or anything. Okay, so our canvas is all prepped and she is ready to be worked on um, either tonight or tomorrow. I really need to work on this one. Um, and this is what I'm talking about, the tape. See that? The cheap this is cheap tape from Amazon. Um, it rolls up. It's not has no tack to it. I have to keep pressing it down. I'm probably going to have to just rip it all off and, and use a different one. Um, but maybe I'll work on her tonight. I don't know. I also have baby... Ooh, ooh. I also have baby Groot to work on for hubby. Maybe I'll do a square for Groot and a square for her tonight. Let's see what I can get done. Hubby's out of the house. He's out of my hair. He's at a barbecue. So maybe I can get some diamond painting done tonight. So we're going to put her flat. And let's see what I want to do. I think maybe I'm going to work, do another. This part will be, this is Plant Lady, by the way, if you haven't been following. This square that we're exposing. See that now? Okay, let's just stop a second. Now, you saw how crappy the canvas looked. No color. looks like a negative. See, this is a pretty canvas to me. It's full of life and color, and you can tell what the picture is. Why can't all canvases look like that? And these don't have um, dummy circles, you know, training wheels at all. This is uneven. So... I might just, because this is a small square, I might just rip this off. See, it, these are these are perfect for kind of guesstimating how much you want to do, how much you, you, you're willing to put up with for the day. Um, the only problem is if you don't do them even, then you might diamond paint uneven. But other than that, I think I'm going to work on this nice chunk of square. And then I have two large chunks left and like three like halves or quarters left of this. So, I think I'm going to work on her tonight. And if I'm lucky, I'll get a ba some of the baby Groot. I don't know if I showed you guys what baby Groot looked like. Is there even a picture of him on the canvas? No, there isn't. Um, he's up close. It's, it's, it's nothing but his face. You'll see as progress goes on. 
Um, but thank you for joining me for my kit up and my canvas prep. Um, and our little chit chat along together. Um, I like these better than whipping chats. Because, you know, me doing whipping chats, I seem to ramble on and on and on. And then I go into rants and stuff like that. So, I don't do too many whipping chats. But, anyways, you guys. This can be thrown out from Candy Girl. I think this is from Candy Girl, but this can be thrown out. And... I can start diamond painting again. So I hope you guys have a nice day or night wherever you are. If you are enjoying my content, any of my content, um, old or new, um, and you're new here, um, please be so kind and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> it helps my ever so small channel out grow. And um, don't forget to like and leave a comment. I love chatting with you guys and getting to know you guys in the comments below. You're all such wonderful people and wonderful subscribers. You're wonderful. So, I hope to see you guys again, which we will, um, probably in the progress of this lovely lady. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day or night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.